It's the best of best day ever! Harrison Ford is making news today, not because of his new Indiana Jones movie, but because of a PSA he did to save the rainforest. Every bit of rainforest that gets ripped out over there really hurts us over here. That really got the point across. I'm just upset they didn't use the PSA that I shot. Every bit of rainforest counts. But that's one forest we don't need to save. Gary Coleman was on divorce court today. <laughs> I know, not even a joke part yet. And the judge was doing a great job up to the moment where she asked Gary to list his weaknesses. Give me a list of the things that are wrong with you, other than my temper. Temper, okay, we got one. Um, I have very low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. I don't feel very successful in life. I want the world for her and I get frustrated that I can't bring it to her. Mm -hmm. According to today's British tabloids, Amy Winehouse headbutted a gentleman who was kindly hailing her a taxi. What could have caused her to do such a thing? I think it's worth mentioning that Amy Winehouse has a drug problem. How wide are we right now? It's official! George Clooney split up with his girlfriend, Sarah Larson. So that means that George Clooney is single. 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 Hey guys, is that dream sequence coming? You know, the one where I'm riding on the back of George Clooney's motorcycle, we stop at a fruit stand, he covers me in strawberry pulp, and we make love, but instead you cut to a train going through a tunnel? We doing that? On The View this morning, Sherry Shepard explained to us the true joy of breastfeeding. It's a different of a baby just sucking on your nipple and you just know that I am feeding you. I am feeding you. No, no. It's a kind of a love affair that you have with your baby. That's the only way to describe it. Is. It, is. it is. It is. It's a love and it's such a pure love affair. Don't be creeped out. Sherry loves her baby and her baby loves its mama. You know it's been too long since my last snack, Mama Sherry. Step into my crib, cause right now, baby, I got your formula. Peekaboo. I know you had a hard day at work, girl, and tonight, I'm gonna treat you like a lady. Now excuse me while I take care of business. I made a stinky. It was announced today that MTV's hit series, The Hills, has been renewed for its fourth season. Right, and they're saying that the new season will be all about what happens over this summer. That reminds me. What are you doing this summer, Francis? Mm, I don't know. Probably work. Mm. Take care of my cat. Sweat a lot. Mm. Mm. Uh. On tonight's Hell's Kitchen, Matt totally cuts off his finger. But don't worry, it's just the tip. I just took off the tip of my finger. Oh my god. We haven't got to go the tip. Where's the top of the finger gone? Oh, uh, good question. Come on, guys, we gotta find that finger, okay? Because we're gonna win this. We gotta find that finger! Oh, hello. I'm just coming back from the magazinery. In today's In Touch magazine, Matthew McConaughey had this to say about keeping his baby in his Airstream trailer. He or she will be fine. We'll make it fit, sure. People fit in small places. Hmm. When asked what would happen when the baby starts to grow, Matthew said, I'm probably high. Please welcome Jason Castro. What show is this again? Best day ever. That's right, sorry, I'm kind of forgetful. Don't worry about it, man. I forget stuff all the time. <laughs> all the time. I'm sorry, who are you? I'm, I'm Jason Castro from American Idol. Doug Benson, best day ever. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you? Tonight's Lost was extra intense. They introduced a mysterious new character. 
Now, there's a lot of press that want to speak to you. They're referring to you as the Oceanic Six. Um, seven, if you count me, but that's cool if you don't, because I'm new. We'll see you on the ground. We'll see you on the ground. And more peanuts, please. So anyway, did you guys hear about Brittany and Mel Gibson? Brittany and Mel Gibson, they're going to Costa Rica together on vacation. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. I know you guys have been through a lot, but you know, there's other people in the world that things are happening to. It's not just all about, oh, we were lost. Brittany and Mel Gibson. Denise Richards is out promoting her new reality show, and all week it seemed like she had something on her mind, and it wasn't water soluble. I do not want Charlie Sheen's sperm. I don't want Charlie Sheen's sperm. If I wanted anyone's Richie sperm, Sambor. I right. would have asked for Richie's. I have nothing against Charlie's sperm. It's sad. No one seems to want Charlie Sheen's sperm. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. It's tough being Charlie Sheen's sperm. And Denise didn't make things any easier talking about me all week on the TV. Now everywhere I go, people are laughing at me. It's just not fair. Besides, I don't even last that long outside of Charlie. At least I didn't die in a jacuzzi, like my brothers. Barack Obama became the Democratic nominee last night, and it's rumored that he called Hillary Clinton but got her voicemail. Well, here at Best Day Ever, we have obtained the exclusive recordings of Hillary's voicemail. Hey, Hills, you hear that sound? Those are keys to start up your bus. Na 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 na, hey hey, etc. etc. Goodbye. Call me, it's Barack Obama. Hey, it's Barack again. Sorry, just looking for a guy named I Juan. Last name, the nomination. I Juan, the nomination. Oh snap. What's up? Okay, I'm embarrassed now. It's Barack Obama. Call me. Hey, Hillbill, it's Al Gore. Just wondering if it's too late to endorse you. JK, call me back. Barack put me up to this. Global warming, call me. American Idol winner David Cook visited the Best Week Ever studios, and they gave me 30 seconds with him. Oh, crap, it starts now. Get the f out of my way. David Cook's here. Damn it. Melissa, you're late. I was just leaving. I have six seconds. Uh, okay, what's your question? Um, um, what does David Archuleta smell like? What? You smell nice. As far as smells go. If you like smells, I kind of smell person <laughs> about you. Got okay. Like as you know from the first Narnia movie, Liam Neeson was the voice of the proud lion Aslan. I was there when it was written. For the new film, I was hoping to take over the role and put a different spin on the character. I even went so far as to make my own audition tape. Hey Prince Caspian, how's it hanging? Oh, I'm not doing so well. <laughs> What was I thinking eating that mouse? Have fun storming the castle! Roar, roar. Tonight's Lost finale was amazing, but I was kind of thrown by that Sex in the City plug. That movie's everywhere. Who gave you the toolbox, Frank? Who, uh... Hey! Whoa, 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 you're good right there. Who are you? I'm Melissa. Ooh, nice gun. Where are you running? Um, uh, going to see Sex in the City. What, have you been trapped on a deserted island? <laughs> He's got the tickets. Coco, McCour. Actually, I think we only have two tickets. I think Coco and McCour are gonna have to get online like everyone else. We pre-ordered. Come here. Oh, hey. Get on your knees. I told you we should have met at the theater. This guy's a real a-hole. Hey, did you hear Clay Aiken got some lady pregnant? Folks, our long national nightmare is over. Orlando Brown, the actor from the television piece That's So Raven, is no longer missing after a full day of being missing.
Everything's fine now, but you should have seen me during that one day when I didn't know where Orlando Brown was. Yeah, <laughs> Gaucho!